Hey everyone, welcome to another daydream. Welcome to another video. Um, thank you for spending your valuable time watching this video. One big milestone. I just went over a thousand subscribers, and I don't really do it for for the for the oh the influencer, but it's nice. It's a nice milestone, and it's nice to get, I guess, people watching the content, even if they choose to watch my 15 minute rants and they only choose like five minutes of it if that but it's still okay everyone should take what they can out of those videos so today's video is all about using the weight scales I bought a while back and getting some weights so one of the things I'm gonna do is measure the GTR maybe maybe I don't know and certainly measure the weight of the Mustang as is basically how I would normally drive it around the city or how I take it to the racing strip. I'm not one of those guys who strips the car out especially to go to the race strip because I don't know, I don't know. It's uh, it's too much work. That's the problem. That's the problem. Another thing we did on the GTR recently, we bought some new wheels. Ooh, they look good. And we went for the Advan instead of the Rays because I really genuinely believe that uh, you either go with five spoke or you go with seven spoke. The Razor six spoke, the TE 37s or whatever they're called. And I'm just not into that. It's gotta be an odd number for me for it to look good. So, time to get the weight machine out of there. Um, it's been there for a while and let's get on with it really um, I'll, I've not used it, I've not tested it, I've not even set it up before so it's gonna be interesting I might do the GTR first and and see how it goes so the GTR itself um, apart from the wheels so the Advance and apart from the Army Tricks exhaust on there um, as well as the Army Tricks Y pipe uh, the car is fully stock um, and a little bit more about this car actually it's actually quite a rare car so this is in a color that's known in the in Europe at least as vermilion red so if you can see in here it has like a gold sheen to it and and that's the that's the gold flake in the paint and um, this was an option for only one year it was three thousand pounds extra three thousand pound works out as about I think about nearly four thousand dollars I would say about four thousand uh, dollars so it was an option and uh, and yeah they only did it for a year now the story goes I could be wrong on this and um, the story goes that uh, cars were getting slight little bits of you know damage along the shipping route and normally the companies would try and buff it out or just do a do a respray or a bumper or whatever when they land at a dealership but this paint is just so hard to get a match on um, that they stopped doing it. So it was just a one year thing that they did. So yeah, I think there's only a very few number of these in Europe. Um, so this is a 2014 GTR. It's only done uh, 16,000 miles. So it's a, it's a very rare, very low mileage car. And it's going up in value because the GTR is apparently dead. Anyway, we are, well, I, I don't know if I'm a Mustang channel but I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cars guy so this is this is a quick little sideshow I guess so right let's get the weight machine out weight balance weight scales I don't know what you call them out and uh, actually I might just do the GTR first where it is just reverse it and see how it goes so let's do it so before I can go any further I really oh, well, I need to get the batteries in and make sure everything's calibrated I've got the instructions here, which I think I know what I'm doing to say. Uh, yeah, these are it. Okay, let's do it. So first things first.
Right, so the batteries are all in. Um, so we've got the controller, we've got the four scales, they're all relevant. I think this only matters if you want to know the bias of each wheel. Um, so if you're not looking for that and you're just looking for a total weight, you can put on whichever wheel you want. So it's up to you. I'm going to try and get the weight bias of all the wheels. So the first thing I got to do is reverse the GTR a little bit um, and then uh, or maybe move it forward and then reverse onto these I think might be the uh, way to go let's see idea of each corner your floor has to be like perfectly flat maybe I don't know but right now it's saying these figures so that is what it is right so that was the GTR time to do the Mustang so I moved the GTR out of the way it's popular there look at that looking fairly clean fairly clean looks decent I do like the wheels the wheels look nice. Um, yeah, they do. Five, five spoke. So, time for this to go there. So, let's do it.
of the car is on there. Looking good. What do we have here? So it says, um, oh my God, this thing is heavy. <laughs> it weighs 4,060 pounds. Oh my God, I didn't think it weighed that much. Uh, that's quite a lot. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that much. Bloody hell. Okay, okay. I know where I can save some weight straight away. So bear in mind, this is a, this is a, it's got the, the American equivalent of this is the PP2, the performance pack rather in this, uh, in this variant. So it has the shaker. Uh, then I've got a whole load of other stuff in there. I've got extra mats, the soundproofing on the rear, etc. So actually it's not, it's not too bad. I'm gonna have to do the conversion to cut kilo, uh, the kilograms, but so the weight distribution is about 20% rear on each wheel. So about 40, 60. So that's how it goes. So 40% of the weight is on the rear axles and about 60% of the weight is on the front axles. And I think right now, I, don't, I think it has about half a tank or nearly a full tank of fuel. I'll, I'll, I'll check then, I'll write the text on the document. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so let's do a con quick conversion on the phone. I'm sure you, this can do this as well, but I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I need to figure that out, read the instructions. And pounds on this, so let's go 460, 4,060 pounds, which is 1,840 kilograms. Okay, that's that's about what I expected, to be honest. That's, that is about what I expected, to be honest. So that's, that's all right. So the scales actually work pretty good. And now I have a really good idea of what I need to do um, to get the weight down if I wanted to. So for instance, I know that my weight distribution is 40% rear, 60% to the front, and I can do something about that. If I want to go to a shop and get my suspension sorted out, I can tell them that, you know, this is, this is the weight, uh, the bias of the car, and uh, they can do something about it that way. Um, but yeah, so, um, disappointed, no. No, I'm actually all right with that. It's heavy. Sucker's over 4,000 4, pounds. Okay. I need to do something about losing some of that weight. One of the things you could do. So, so, so one of the things you could do on this car to reduce weight, get rid of those side things so they don't do nothing. The Savini's hood is quite heavy. Get rid of the splitter. You can change the crash bars front and rear to the lighter variants. You can get rid of all the netting, the rear seat delete etc etc so that can make the car quite quite a lot more lighter obviously the um, the wing is an addition the exhaust if you have a free-flowing exhaust without the cats I, I have cats and everything else that can reduce weight I do have a resonator in the middle you could get rid of that that's a bit of a bit of saving um, I've got a carbon fiber drive shaft so so considering what I've got on the car I'm actually quite happy with that um, I will do another video. It's in the making about what uh, what's on the car and how I think my day went at Car Wow. Um, uh, so stay tuned for that. It's, it's actually quite a long video. It's, it, it requires a lot of editing. That's why it's taking such a long time for me to do. Um, I just want to give you guys a rundown of the car and uh, take it from there. Um, but yeah, so now that we know the weight of the car, it actually makes sense for me to give you guys a rundown of the modifications that I've done uh, as to <coughs> why it's gained going quite a bit of weight. So I think from factory, I can't recall exactly what the minimum weight is of the car. Let me just see. Um, Cause I did try and find that out. So from factory, these come at around 1650. So 1650, so I'll put 200 kg, 200, about 190 kg on the car. And I know where most of that weight is. Most of that weight is the bloody hood. The hood weighs a lot. It's a fiberglass hood, it weighs a lot. Then obviously adding uh, extra stuff in there like the heavier half shafts so they can take more loading. Obviously it has fuel in it. So I think it has a full tank of fuel in it. The soundproofing alone weighs about 40 kg. Um, so that's that's where the weight starts to come in. The obviously the 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 rear wing weighs a bit, so that's extra weight. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's why it's uh, weighing that much more. The way I see it, I'll just add more power to counteract that weight. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. So thank you for following, thank you for liking, thank you for well spending your valuable time with me. Um, the way scales work, I do I think it's a worthwhile, my review, okay, my review, I always do a review at the end of this sort of a video. Um, do I think it is worth getting the weigh scales? The answer is for the average Joe, no. <laughs> this is no point. Um, why did I get them? I just got them on a whim. I got a really great deal on these and I was very curious about how the Mustang weighed, how the GTR weighed and uh, what I can do in the future to reduce some of that weight. Um, so I already have quite a good idea what I'm going to do. Um, and, and we'll take it from there really, but, but yeah, it's, uh, it's about as heavy as I thought. I think one of the biggest limitations for this system is that you really do need to have a smooth concrete floor uh, to, to do this because the, the feet on it are quite small. You know, if you have a asphalt surface, um, I think the durability of this, this system might suffer. So if you use it repeatedly, because obviously a point load on a small pad will, will damage it very quickly. In terms of getting the car on and off, brilliant, no problems. Um, in terms of uh, reading and what it shows you, again, brilliant, no problems. And there are obviously other instructions in here um, that I just haven't had a chance to read so far, but I'm sure you can get the weight to show, show up in KD. I'm sure it could probably do that. Um, even if not, your mobile phone has a converter. Stop being lazy and use it, okay? Um, but yeah, it's good. It's great in the sense that it tells you how much weight is on each wheel and, and then you can do something about that. Um, so if you want to go at the strip, whether you want to go racing, um, you know, you can see how much weight you can save and how that affects your time. I mean, the easiest way would be to strip the, strip the interior out, get rid of that heavy, heavy shaker system. I obviously I did the soundproofing so that weighs a bit so and, and you've got to take the factory weights in terms of what they come with with a pinch of salt so I know it says 1650 kg and um, take that with a pinch of salt that's probably a baseline car without the shaker pack so um, so it wouldn't take into account the subwoofer um, do they, they probably won't even have the tire repair kit in there um, I could be wrong and I bet it would have little to no fuel in the car as well so, so take it with a pinch of salt, what they say, what it comes to with, with factory. And, uh, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, it's, it's around about what I thought it would be, 18, 1840. I, I actually thought it would be closer to 1900, in all honesty. So 60 kg bonus, but I just got 65 kg bonus. So I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next video.